Hi there! Welcome to our project. Today we're going to be talking about reality therapy and choice theory. Psychiatrist William Glasser developed choice theory and reality therapy during the latter part of the 20th century. His theory opposes behaviorism, which he critically referred to as external control psychology. Glasser asserted instead that environmental factors do not control human behavior, but only provide information. Human beings choose their own behaviors. According to this theory, five basic needs motivate human behavior. Survival and self-preservation, power, competence, and achievement, freedom and independence, fun and enjoyment, and love and belonging. As a general rule, Glasser viewed love and belonging as the most dominant of these needs. It's helpful to think about this theory using a metaphor of the individual as a car. Every car needs an engine, and the five basic needs power the choice theory engine. A car also needs somewhere to go. In choice theory, all people are trying to reach a destination known as their quality world. This includes people, things, and ideas that are important to us in meeting our individual needs. To get to our quality world, the car uses a front-wheel drive system called total behavior. In Glasser's theory, all behavior is total behavior. It is made up of our thoughts, actions, feelings, and physical state. We consciously control only the thinking and acting elements of our car. Feelings and physiology follow from how we choose to think and act. Glasser did not believe in mental illness and instead held clients responsible for choosing their own emotions and behavior. He maintained that most problems clients come to therapy for are relational in nature, usually one person trying to control the other. There are three explanations for pathological behavior, to restrain anger, get help, and avoid things. So when we're falling prey to these things and our needs aren't being met, what's the best course of action? That's where reality therapy comes in. We start by accepting that the only person's behavior we can control is our own. We cannot control others, only give them information. When we take responsibility for our own actions and stop trying to control others, we can move forward. 